Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install VMware Workstation Pro 16 on a Windows 10 PC. We'll walk you through some quick steps so you can get up and running, and we're going to start right now. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you're on YouTube, hit the alert notification. Okay, to get started here, we're going to open up our favorite browser and head over to Google. And inside Google, we're just gonna type in Workstation 16 Pro, and VMware is gonna be one of the first links that come up here. And we'll just click on the download link, and it'll take us right to the download page. Now, this is gonna be a trial version that we're gonna be installing. Although it does install all the components, we'll click on download now, and it's gonna save the file. File is about 622 megs, so it's a fair size. If you have a slower internet connection, it might take some time to download. Uh, looks like it's already done here, so we can get into the installation process. Okay, so we've started the setup, and the wizard has begun. And we'll be uh, prompted just for a few things here, license agreement, etc. So we'll let that begin. Okay, so here we go. It's preparing the installation, and we're going to start off this by clicking on next. We're going to be doing a default setup. So we click on next, and then we have the end user agreement. We can check that. You have to check that if you want to proceed and click on next and the custom setup. Now, if you have space issues and you want to change your directory, you can click on that and change it. We're going to leave everything as default and click on next uh, user experience settings. Now, if you want to participate, you can leave these selected. I'll leave this up to you uh, and then click on next. And we like to have some desktop shortcuts, so I'll just leave that the way it is. And now it's ready to install so we can click on install and it's going to unpack everything on the desktop now if you have a pc that is older than 2011 you might run into some support issues with um, vmware not installing correctly on your pc or virtualization not running as efficiently if your computer is newer than 2011 anything based on 2012 and above it should install correctly. We've seen compatibility issues with lots of PCs, uh, so it is touch and go. On our website, geekwire.com, uh, we're putting up a post there that shows compatible CPUs, uh, so you can just verify if yours is gonna work. Also, our website, forum.geekwire.com, uh, we're gonna be discussing a lot of issues that have come up with users uh, based on installations of different versions. Okay, so the installation is done, and when you get to this window, you can just click on Finish. Uh, there's a license button here, so if you already have a license and you want to enter it in, you can enter the key there. Uh, so we're just going to click on Finish, and it's going to automatically launch, or I'll just double-click on it. And it should prompt us for a key. Here we go. So here it's asking us for a license key. Now, we don't have one. We're going to use the trial evaluation period of 30 days. Uh, so we'll select that and click on Continue. And... It'll load up here in just a second. Okay, so now here it is, and it has completely loaded up. Now this is a full-fledged version of Workstation 16 Pro on a Windows 10 PC. You have full functionality. It's a, you can do whatever you'd like with it during the 30 days. Once the 30 days has expired, you're either gonna have to enter in a license key or you're gonna have to uninstall it. It's up to you. Now we're planning to get a lot of use out of it in the 30 days uh, before we decide to purchase it. We'll be installing many different versions of operating systems on it and testing it out uh, as you'll be seeing on our YouTube channel and our blog. So if you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. If you do enjoy the video, please give us a thumbs up, maybe subscribe because there will be a lot more content coming out over the next few weeks with VMware specifically. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.